Hello and welcome to the JBNM Sports Fanatic channel. Thank you for joining me for this video. And in this video, we're going to be talking about Pittsburgh Steelers backup quarterback Dwayne Haskins um, came over from the Washington football team, which he was released last season, um, signed with the Pittsburgh Steelers this offseason. Um, but he has been injured by his wife who faces a domestic violence charge, um, as reports say, and this is um, written by Brick Pryor, where ESPN um, staff writer. And so the article goes on to talk about how the wife of Dwayne Haskins is facing, you know, domestic violence charges that stemming from an alleged assault involving the Pittsburgh Steelers quarterback that occurred in a Las Vegas hotel room earlier in the month. Um, according to multiple reports, um, they're saying that she is facing faces a felony charge of battery and domestic violence resulting in bodily harm stem, stem, stemming from the alleged altercation on July 3rd. I'm at the Cosmopolitan. Um, according to reports, you know, she is accused of punching Haskins in the mouth and other injuries Haskins reportedly suffered were substantial in nature. You know, he's 24 um, years old. He had a split upper lip and a missing tooth. So, um, yes, yeah, she definitely was being extremely aggressive there. I mean, he suffered other injuries to his mouth that would require dental work to repair his teeth. According to reports, Police were called to the to the hotel around 2.30 a.m. on PT, according to reports, and Haskins was taken to the hospital for facial injury. And so she, um, she told police, according to reports, that the pair married in March and were in Las Vegas to celebrate with friends and renew their vows. At some point in the evening, there was an argument that escalated when she allegedly hit Haskins, Haskins in the mouth. And so Haskins, according to reports, said he remembered getting into a fight with his wife, but didn't remember getting punched in the mouth. In searching the room, officers found a piece of tooth and blood per reports. And so, yeah, obviously this is a crazy situation there. Um, I imagine that, you know, we'll probably get more details. Who knows, maybe in a video at some point. Um, I got to check and see if maybe if there is one out there. But one thing for sure is that, you know, Haskins, he certainly had to go and, um, you know, get that tooth repaired and stuff. So, yeah, pretty serious stuff. Um, obviously, whatever it is they were arguing about, you know, they recently got married. And so, you know, um, Haskins says he doesn't remember necessarily getting hit. But, um, yeah, um, whenever it happened, um, she definitely got him good. And, you know, with that being said, though, you know, he's a former, you know, first-round pick by the Washington football team going back in just 2019. So it's very, um, you know, obviously it's very – um, not a good sign whenever you're, you know, 2019 first round pick and then they just let you go extremely early. Um, but with that being said, though, I mean, this is an opportunity for Pittsburgh Steelers to come in and really try to just show that, you know, you're going to come in, work hard and be focused, you know, because they're going to be looking for an heir apparent, you know, whether we're looking in the direction of him um, or Mason Rudolph, whomever. Someone's going to have to step up in case, you know, Ben Roethlisberger decides to hang it up after this season. Um, and if they opt not to draft the quarterback, they would like to certainly know that one of these two guys, whether it be him or Mason Rudolph, would be able to step up and take that um, role. But with that being said, though, yeah, this is definitely um, a situation that, you know, when it comes to domestic violence, it's certainly something that you got to take serious. And um, we will see if any additional information um, comes up out of this. But with that being said, thank you guys so much for joining me for this video. And as always, make sure that you like the video as well as um, subscribe if you haven't subscribed to the channel already. Best way to keep you up to date in terms of news that gets um, posted, whether we're talking NFL content, NBA content, or college athletics. You know, I try to cover them all. So definitely do make sure that you press that subscribe button. I'd really appreciate that. And thank you guys so much for watching and see you guys next time.